Hey guys, Reaper here. We're on, uh, what is this, episode three? Picking up our meat. Trying to place stacks just to organize our inventory a little bit. Um, maybe we'll build another chest. I feel like we have to build a lot of those with wood. No wood here, no wood here. All right. Well. Oh, it let us rest now. Interesting. All right, well, you fall into the deep well of sleep and dream only of darkness. Well, that's exciting. We'll see how that ended. And why did I wake up and it became darker? What? All right, well, we have eight flint. Is this a storm going on? Is this a new thing, the weather? Weather actually matters in this game? That's kind of neat. Okay, flint axe. So I obviously don't need... A normal axe anymore so we can just put the normal axe here i suppose we should repair stuff anyway we just don't have enough wood to put it anywhere so we'll go with flint axe you are exposed <laughs> i don't believe so too hard still dang it we're gonna have to upgrade it one so we'll get some more wood build up our stockpile of wood Hopefully we get a lucky roll here. Get a couple trees dropping down. See if we can't set something up so it gets a little more adventurous here. Alright, that was a good start. Not great, but we'll take it. Knock this down, so hopefully it knocks down another log or two. Oh, not my way. Nope. That's a Widowmaker. I see it rolling. I know that I could die to trees. Give myself a little health. <laughs> Specifically because of trees. That's when you know you are terrible at lumberjacking. Is when your biggest threat out here are trees. Themselves. Oh, this is not going to end well for me. All right, power swing, power swing, let's go. Yeah, don't hit me, okay, okay. We're avoiding all of the trees flying everywhere. Okay, excellent, excellent. We like the way this is going so far. We know it's pure luck, but we are okay with that. Rather be lucky than good. Actually, I'd rather be good, but you know. I'll take lucky when it involves me not being crushed under a three-ton tree. How much does a tree that size actually weigh? I'm not entirely sure. We'll see. Once we get enough wood to start upgrading some stuff, I think this will get a lot easier. Because we'll be able to upgrade our axe to take out these... What are they? Vine trees, birch trees, birch trees. Once we knock out the birch trees, we'll be able to clear the area around our base a little better. Let's go back and see what we've got to work with. All right. What do we need, first of all, to build this? Deer hide, leather scraps, or just flint? I feel like flint is the way to go here. Let's repair all of our stuff. Let's go make sure we're placing all of our stacks here. We have bone, dandelions, feathers. Man, I feel like that's kind of silly. I'm going to build another chest. And so it begins. Yes, this is a hoarding game. If you didn't know, then I feel sorry for you. But this definitely is a game that lends itself to hoarding quite well. Porch. That's actual food, though, so we want that. Then we'll leave our flint here, because we don't need it until we're crafting. Let's get ourselves over towards the water again. I heard deer. I'm willing to tag them on the way back. Aha. 
see how this range drop off is at that range. Oh my gosh, it's such a drop off. I wonder if that's based on the weapon itself or if it's based more on my actual skill with the bow. My goodness, thank God this deer is just standing there. Thank you. Thank you for the practice. Good deer. Did you just drop trees? No, that was just an odd looking deer hide. Okay. That would have confused me quite a bit. Let's explore this way a little. We haven't really gone out this way too much. Gotcha. Your panic slowed your reaction. You saw the most dangerous and scary Viking of all time. And you knew. You just knew. My reputation precedes me. Hmm. Huh. Over this way. It's over here. Looks like a nice wide opening. Lots of fruit. Looks maybe like a boar pen. Like a, like a pre-made boar pen. But what's in here? Aha! I love those. Beehive. Okay, that didn't work at all. Wait till they die down. Perfect. Honey. New material. Queen bee. Take all. Flint head arrow. Okay. I like that. I can get my beehives going. I don't remember finding beehives this early in a long time, so this feels like the blessed run. Might be. Might be indeed. I mean, I am the blessed warrior spoken of in tales. Brought back by the Valkyries for my sheer amazingness. Wow, this is a nice little area. Whew. Good little spot to build a home. Looks like you've got a couple things on all sides. These are those fake dungeons. That might be a real one. Might not, though. Can't tell. Nope, it's a fake one. All right. Remember the drop off here. Wow. Gotcha. Gotcha. All right. We're getting the hang of this. Pick up, pick up some more of those. Some more flint. Right, do more of these. Oh boy, that looks like mineable materials. I forgot about the pickaxes. Yay. I feel like I shouldn't even bother with pickaxing until... What's that noise? Oh, you. You, sir, are a no. We have voted. You are out of the island. It's nice that Flint's always near the surface. This would be very aggravating if I had to swim for this every time. very glad for whatever dev said no let's not put it out in the water because you need so much of the, these early materials anything that's aggravating to find is just not worth the trouble oh whoa. really that drop-off, this crude bow drop-off is horrible. Wow. Yeah, I don't know if it's the crude bow itself or if it's all bow drop-off. I'm going to have to retest that. It's 
so I mean, maybe that is a realistic drop off. I'm not sure. I haven't really gone around and done my own archery testing in real life. Firearms I'm very comfortable with, but bows and arrows. I haven't shot them in a while. There's some fish. Rocks. More flint. Here we go. Now we're talking. More flint. I feel like this has already been a fairly successful run. Deer trophy, deer meat. We're feeling we're feeling pretty good right now. And this, this is what makes Valheim great, is it's so gorgeous. Man. It's just you know you can go everywhere that you can see, and you can do something out there. Makes it very fun, at least for a dork like myself. 18 flint, that's a good amount. Plenty of raspberries. I hear more deer, so you know we're going to collect more deer on the way if we can. What's that noise? Why are you panicked already? Let's see how high we have to shoot for this one. Gotcha! But first, raspberries. Oh my gosh, there's so many. This is definitely the blessed run. I say that now before I've discovered where all the iron is. I'm sure this is going to be the blessed run until I have to start doing metal farming. And it's going to be the cursed run because that always feels bad. See, I've always played multiplayer with friends. So it's one of those things where I have almost always, when it comes to the like late game iron farming, we have always either dropped off and just kind of not bothered or we will play in multiple seeds where it's like we'll play our main seed where we're building our base and then we'll go grab a bunch of iron. I usually am the one hosting, so I never really get to leave and go to another ideal seed for that, but players I play with generally do. Which is... You know, dubious at best, but as aggravating as it feels to mine it manually, I feel limited. I feel like the game is so limited in how much iron there is that you can get and where it is that it's very... It, it feels almost necessary to go through multiple seeds to get the iron to facilitate building a bunch of armor or weapons or anything like that. That's just a feeling. Aha. Hello, piggies. Do you mind if you part with your skin for my benefit? Oh, lord. That was... Oh, wow. Okay, got one. Oh. Come on, pigs. Oh, maybe we switch here. Oh my gosh, that was terrible. Yeah, yeah, let that be a lesson to you. I planned the... See, the reason I got hit there was specifically to give a lesson to the viewers how not to do things. You know, I mean, it's it's pretty obvious with my perfection being a standard that I wouldn't make that mistake, incidentally. All right, now we get a real shot. Not even close. Gotcha. All right. Take some of those long shots. My bow's getting messed up, so you know I'm doing good work. 15 minutes of pretty much just hunting. Oh, wow. Didn't I'm the worst stalker? What is with that rapid firing? Is that a glitch? Is that a bug? That keeps happening. If I pull back to aim, all of a sudden it just starts randomly firing rapid shots. I'm not quite sure what that is. I'm certainly not panic pressing. What is that run? Is that deer drunk? You, sir. Deserve everything that just happened to you. Everything. You're just a little parasite running around. Alright. Let's go this way and get ourselves back to our base. Ooh, more raspberries. I 
I do like the system they did for food and drink in this game where everything sort of gives you what you would expect it to give you. You know, if you're eating meat, you're going to get more durable and hearty. What's that? Right in the butt. All right, now do you have a friend around? I hear him. Got him. Are there any more? I don't believe so. Because we're not getting credit for stealthing. You don't feel rested anymore. Darn it. That's the perfect marker to go back. And we need to go this way, through the raspberries. I feel so ADHD when I see raspberries in this game because I always want them, or blueberries, or whatever other fruits they throw at you. More pigs. Gotcha. Oh no. Oh, I can just right click and cancel that shot. That's really nice. I don't remember that being a thing in the past. Valheim, I felt like whenever you drew, you were gonna fire. More raspberries. Oh no. I'm getting distracted, which reminds me, I need to eat some. Anything in there I want? No. I believe that's the one we already got for our beehives, which I need to remember to set up when we get back. Because I believe those take a while to start producing, don't they? It's something like that. It takes quite a while, if I remember correctly. Alright, we're letting our stamina build back up slowly. Not ideal, but... Oh, lord. Alright, it's time to axe fight. Come here, nerd. Yeah, you too, nerd. Come on. Ah. Uh, get stunned. Ah. Uh, get slapped around. How do you like that, huh? How do you like that? Huh? That's right. Alright. Those are clearly the most dangerous of all the creatures in this game. And the fact that I dispatch of them so easily is just a sign of my masterful skill. It's very clear. I am the chosen one. Ow! Every time I run into those deer, though, I look like an idiot. No! What is that? Mushroom? Alright, let's do it. That didn't work at all. There we go. Never forget a mushroom. Oh, hi, boars. Oh, that was terrible. All right, we got it. I just, I seem to remember when we were looking at our recipes, a lot of them had skins of different types. So I feel like running back to base with a bunch of animal skins is just going to benefit us and flint so we can get the different wood chopped down once we get different wood chopped down we'll get a fine bow going we'll get ourselves rolling in a positive way and i think with a fine bow we can beat the first boss uh let's cook some items real quick repair all of our gear what else can we pick up take all we have 26 flint um Take that back there. What on earth is that noise? Somebody out here making noise? Somebody running around out here making noise? Ah, there you are. Little crack addict. Let's go. Good night to you. I feel like he could have had an hour and wouldn't have found his way to the door. cooking up. Let's see what we can build now. What is with this flint axe? Oh, it requires wood? I thought I got some wood. 
Yeah, we have plenty of wood. Okay, flint axe. Wait, we have a flint axe, yes? Okay, we need to upgrade the flint axe. Which require ah, that's what that's where we were. Okay. Uh, beehive, we definitely want to make that. We want a chopping block. Put that over here. And then we want, what does this require? 20 leather scraps, my goodness. Oh, and now I can make a leather helmet. So instead of that, now let's go into the workbench. Let's upgrade the flint axe so we get more damage on it. 25 goes up to 30. Okay. Why would you raise your hammer ever? Crude bow I could level up, but I feel like that would be silly. Leather helmet. Okay. Deer hide. I feel like we need the uh, arrows first. Yeah, see. Leather helmet. All right, let's give ourselves a little helmet. Cover up this bald head of mine. With the leather helmet. All right. We're pretty well on our way. Ho. Oh. Well, I want your mouth, but... Sure. That there. I usually like putting my building tool as my final. I'm never I'm never panicking and going, give me give me my building hammer, please. You know? So leather pants, leather tunic. Ooh, we don't have a lot of those though. We only have six. And these are not huge upgrades, so Oh. Whoops. I turned them into coal. Alright. Now, let's place stacks. Go over here. Place stacks. That's nice, it even takes the torch. Although I would prefer to have a torch. There. Let's go here. Okay. Control click. Amber. Interesting. Flint head arrow. Hmm. Let's put the actual helmet closer. Put those in there. Those. That extra stack. Now. Now. Oh, eight. Okay, what can I build with a B? I forget. Miscellaneous, maybe? Raft, steak wall, none of this. Furniture? No? Building? Crafting? Beehive. There we go. Queen bee and wood. All right. Let's go with... Take some of this wood. Why do I keep doing this? All right. Let's do this. Beehive. Does it need to be outdoors? Probably. What? What are you about to tell me? You have crafted a hoe for landscaping. Clearly gotta manipulate the terrain. It's easier to create buildings on level ground. I know that. That's obvious. Alright, beehive. Let's put a beehive over here. And I believe that has to be outdoors. So now what can I do with the beehive? Check bees. The bees are sleeping. Okay, I like this. Now let's see what else we can build to maybe protect the beehive a little. Actually, let's put a low one. Wait, is there miscellaneous, like, fences? So we can still see it. And also so I don't run into it like a numbskull. ourselves a little, little beehive zone here. There we go. That seems beneficial. They're sleeping. Okay, I'm good with that. I don't really want the bees to be awake and murdering me, so I also don't remember if they actually sting you. Let's sleep until the morning. And we'll call it quits there. At least for this episode, I'll be back on in a few moments. And what we'll do is we'll knock this one out. We'll wake up and uh, get ourselves moving with that flint axe. See what we can do with the new types of wood. I'll see you guys on the next one.